so first up, this is pretty interesting because it just shows that you know whales are accumulating. But that's not the big thing. The, the big thing is that Bitcoin is actually in the minds of uh, a lot of huge investors and they're going in that direction. So when I always think to myself, I'm like, what is smart money doing? Well, we have these whales with a ton of money and they're getting into it. What do they know behind the scenes? Like, what are they talking about? So this is just one of those indicators. I'm like, okay, I think I'm in the right place at the right time with the right product. So number of Bitcoin wallets with 10,000 plus Bitcoin hits some serious highs. What's going on here? So analytics agency Santiment has shared data that shows crypto whales are still confident in their digital assets and in Bitcoin in particular. This is something I talk to Alex Masculi a lot about. Alex is the uh, head for institutional investment over at Bquant. I say, hey man, what are people really asking for? Because is it is it just Bitcoin or is it like Ethereum or is it uh, you know XRP or is it Tron or you know what are they asking for? And he's like, look, it's always Bitcoin. They're always talking about Bitcoin because that's what people know. And of course, people will say, well, it's not the fastest, it's not the best, and it's old technology. That is true, but it is battle tested and it's never been hacked, and people know about it. And uh, I think it's going to do well in the short to midterm. Now, long term in 50 years, I have no idea. I have no idea. I can't remember. I can't even tell you what uh, what's going to happen tomorrow, obviously. So but I think it's going to do pretty well in, just in the, in the short term. So we will see. Anyhow, wallets that contain a thousand to ninety nine hundred Bitcoin at the moment are slightly under the all time high of twenty one thirty five. And this was this was a tweet that they put out today. And they said, uh, looking for validation that Bitcoin whales are confident in their assets, the number of addresses holding at least 10,000 10, Bitcoin, not $10,000 of Bitcoin, but 10,000 Bitcoin has just matched a 2020 high of 111. Additionally, those with you know a ton of those Bitcoin addresses are now just six below the all-time high of 2135 wallets. So six below the all-time high of 2100 plus wallets is what is going on right now. What do you think is going to happen over the next weeks, months, and just just let's just take you know 2021. I mean, look in 2017, if you weren't there, and I talk about this a lot, there was nothing in this space. It was just a bunch of white papers and hopes and dreams and powder. There really wasn't anything else out there. We just you know thought it would actually happen, and that you know institutions weren't getting into it. You didn't hear big names. I mean, hell, I remember when. There was a tweet from Katy Perry where she talked about, look, I have these uh, crypto claws and it was just her nails. And that went, the price went up. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. So when I hear about this, I'm like, well, this only just makes sense, especially with all the institutions that are coming in right now, all the big money players, all the legendary investors, uh, Drunken Miller and Duncan Miller, whatever his name is. And here's another thing. Uh, I messed up his name yesterday. His name is Drunken Miller, not Drunken Miller. Uh, I make a lot of mistakes, so I always try to own up to them, which, which I make a lot of mistakes. That's my wife. But uh, his name is Drunk Druck in Miller. Uh, actually, I remember uh, on one of the BitMEX uh, videos, I called uh, Arthur Hayes Isaac Hayes. Uh, that's, that's, you know, hey, I'm not good with names. So anyhow, this is the types of things that I really like to, to see about what's happening behind the scenes. I think this is good for cryptocurrency digital assets, especially, like I've always said, Going in 2021, I expect to see fireworks. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on.